Hello, welcome back to Hostify, my name's Alex, and today we're going to walk through the process of adopting the UXG Pro to a Hostify Unify controller. Now, I did do a video on this a few years ago, looking at how you adopt the UXG Pro, uh, and that was back when the UXG Pro was first released. However, in the years since that video was released, UXG has changed the process slightly, so it's definitely worth looking at this again. Now to get started, you want to plug the UXG Pro into power and then into an internet connection. In this instance, I have got the UXG Pro plugged into a DHCP internet connection, uh, but if you have got a different type of connection like static IP or PPPoE, uh, stay tuned to a little bit later in the video and we will go over what to do in that scenario. I've also got my laptop plugged directly in rather than plugging it into my network first. Before we look at adopting the UXG Pro, I just want to remind you that Hostify has Unify hosting from as little as $9 per month. Check out the link in the description or in the top right corner for more. So what you want to do first is to check that your laptop has picked up a valid IP address from the UXG Pro's DHB server. To do that, you go to Settings, and this will be very similar on Windows as well. Go to Network, and then to your Ethernet adapter here. And you can see I've got a valid IP address, uh, 192.168.1.5, and then the, the gateway IP address of the UXG Pro is by default 192.168.1.1. So what, I, what I'm going to do now is go to this IP address. It'll give me a warning message. This will be very similar in Chrome or Firefox. So what you can see here, I've got a few options. I can name the UXG Pro. I can click on Next in the bottom right-hand corner. I've got the internet connection details on the left-hand page, which is a really nice improvement over previous versions. I've got the internet connection there, the what port that's plugged into, and the local network ports. And then down the bottom, we've got a new option called Other Configuration Options. What I'm going to do is click on this here, and that allows you to skip a lot of the, the usual setup process that the UXG Pro used to get you to do. And this is where you select your different types of internet connection. So in this instance, I've got a DHCP connection here. I can change the port here if I want to, because by default it will use port 1. So if I do have a fiber-based connection, I can use port 3. Uh, you've got the option to clone your MAC address, VLAN ID, so if you've got an incoming VLAN tag for your internet connection, you can choose that. Uh, DNS servers uh, and custom DHCP options. Uh, you can select PPPoE, so some internet providers here in Europe, they have uh, PPPoE, and you can put the username and password in there, and there is some DNS servers and VLAN. Uh, and also, again, you can choose the port you're on. Go back a page here. There is an option for static IP address, so you can, again you can choose the port, but you can choose the uh, VLAN ID again, and then select all the different details you may use for your internet connection. And then local networks, if you do need to change the DHCP server, so this is why I wouldn't personally plug it into your local network first, I would plug a laptop directly in, because if you do happen to have a different subnet in use for your internet connection, rather than everything having... Uh, DHCP leases handed out from the local server, you can then control what your default VLAN is. So if you do have a, a different color setup, you can set that first. And then down here, you can manually connect to Unify Network. That's what we'll use in a second. But you can also update the firmware. So if you've got a file locally on your machine, uh, if you need to update the UXG Pro for any reason, you can update this manually without using SSH, which is a nice improvement. And then down here, you can also test the internet connection. This just says that the UXG Pro is now connected. And we'll go back to other configuration options. And to get this adopted to a Hostify Unify controller, we will now use manually connect to Unify network. So click on this now. And simply, you just need to provide the inform URL that is supplied for your Hostify controller at app.hostify.com. So just one thing to bear in mind that the default configuration for the UXG Pro is not connected to the internet. So what I'm going to have to do here is to manually set uh, a DNS server. So let's go back to the internet settings here on my laptop. And there isn't actually any DNS server supplied by DHCP, so we're going to add one in now. And then that way we can actually get online. So I've got my Hostify controller here, and this will look exactly the same for you if you are a Hostify customer. And then the inform URL is here. So it's HTTP only, not HTTPS. The server address, and then colon 8080, and then inform. Click on these two squares, so that will copy that to your clipboard. Go back to the UXG Pro, and we'll set the inform URL. But first, I'm going to log into my controller, and so we can have a look what's going on. So I'm logged into my controller now. I can see I've got a few devices, some of which are offline. Um, but what we're going to do now is give this the inform URL and click send. It says adoption request sent to the Hostify server. And then it says manually adopt your Gateway Pro on the Unify Network application to complete the process. We'll say got it. 
and we'll press click to adopt. And that's it really, the adoption process on the latest version of the UXG Pro software is a lot easier than it used to be. And you can see here, within seconds, it's now saying up to date and it is connected. Um, this was with version 4.1.13 software. Um, and yeah, it's a lot, lot easier than it used to be. So that's been a look at how to adopt the UXG Pro to a Hostify Unify controller. This will also apply to any Layer 3 uh, available Unify controller with all of its ports available to the internet. You can check out Hostify at hostify.com. We've got Unify, URSP, and TP-Link Armada hosting from as little as $9 per month. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos coming soon. My name's Alex, and I'll see you again next time.